Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to 3D model a tension spring. First we are going to start a 3D sketch and use the helical curve sketch. We'll change the pitch and height and make the diameter 50 millimeters and the height 72.5 millimeters. We're going to start the sketch at the origin and make it go along the x-axis and then click OK. To ensure it's fully constrained, we're going to turn on the center point and we'll make the inner point coincident with the center point. And then we're going to turn on the visibility of the XZ plane and make the outer point coincident with that plane. And lastly, we're going to constrain it to the x-axis. Now that's fully constrained, we'll turn off the visibility. Now we're going to start a sketch on the YZ plane and flip it around to the front. We're going to project the geometry of the helical curve and use the arc tool. We're going to make the arc tangent to the helical curve. And then we're going to add a line from the center point to the two outer points of the, helical, of the arc. And we're going to change that to construction. We're going to dimension it to have an angle of 75 degrees. Now we're going to draw another arc from the existing arc to the Y axis. And then a line from that arc to the center point. We're going to make that arc tangent to the y-axis line and then make the two arcs tangent. We're going to set the line for construction and make it a length of 15, 18 millimeters. Now we have that sketch on the y-z plane, we're going to draw another sketch on the x-y plane. We're going to project the geometry. And then use the arc tool. We're going to make that arc tangent to that center line we created on the previous sketch. And then we're going to draw another line from the arc. From that line, we're going to make the arc and the line tangent to each other and make that line coincident to the center point of the helical curve. We're going to dimension the distance of the line to the center point to be 60 millimeters. And then we're going to add another arc to the edge of the line. We're going to make this arc 12.5 millimeters. And then we're going to use the vertical constraint to fully constrain it. Now we are done one side of, of the tension spring, we're going to draw another sketch on the other side. To do that, we're going to have to create another plane. And we are going to make it off of the YZ plane and make it coincident with the end point on the other side. We're going to project the geometry of the helical curve and do the same thing and create another arc. Again, we're going to make that arc tangent to the helical curve and then draw a line from the outer point to the initial point and make those two lines for construction. We're going to, we are going to dimension the lines to have an angle of 75 degrees. And then we are going to do another arc again. And we're going to make the two arcs tangent to each other. And then we are going to line, draw a line from the origin to the arc. 
and make those two tangent. Again, we're going to make that line for construction and make it a length of 18 millimeters. Now that we're done that sketch on that plane, we're going to draw another sketch. But first, we're going to turn off the visibility. Now we're going to start another sketch on the XZ plane. Again, we're going to project the geometry of the previous sketch. And then we're going to draw an arc from the previous line. And make that tangent to the line from the origin to the previous point. And we're going to draw another line and make that line tangent to the arc. And we're going to make that line coincident to the origin. We're going to dimension the distance from the center point to the line to make it 60 millimeters. Now we're going to do another arc. We're going to make that arc tangent to the line and dimension it to have a, a diameter of 12.5 millimeters. And then we're going to use the vertical constraint to fully constrain it. Now that we have the sketch for the tension spring, we're going to make it 3D and give it a profile now. To do that, we are going to create a plane off the arc to the outer point, And we're going to start a sketch on that plane. We're going to project geometry of that point and make a circle. The circle is going to have a diameter of 7 millimeters. We're going to turn off the visibility of the plane and use the sweep tool to create a 3D model. We're going to select the profile of the circle and sweep it along the edges we created. Make sure to click all the edges. Now that all the sec edges are selected, we have created our 3D model. We are going to change the appearance and we are going to make it aluminum polished. And there we have it. That's how you model a tension spring. Thank you for watching.